Hello, everybody. Welcome back to You've Been Josh with Josh. I am your host, Josh. Yes, you've been Josh with Josh. I am your host, Josh. So many Joshes. Um, so many. So little time. Yes, big, the big 3-0. Episode 30. 30 flirty and, and thriving, as they say. Yes. It's like this podcast. <laughs> Hope everyone had a great week. Hope that uh, your, your, the beginning of May has started off well for you. Uh, we're playing Jedi Fallen Order on the stream, which has been super, super fun. Um, getting that platinum, uh, now that we're trying to make our way to 300 now, goddamn, got 100 to go, but it, we'll, we'll get there. It's only May. It's only May. Sally May? No, that's college stuff. Only May. Only fans. I don't know what I'm talking about. Guys, we have a really, really special guest coming on today. Um, someone very dear to my heart. Um, just like all the guests that uh, come on, to be honest, everyone I know so well now. Um, but uh, they were one of the first people that I met while I started streaming. So I'm very excited to have them on. Um, and it's it's Apothic Decay, our good friend Becca. How you doing, Becca? I'm doing great. Yeah. I'm doing great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, were, we were getting ready to record and um, Becca had messaged me on Discord. It was like, hey, I'm running a little late. Struck by train. <laughs> Stuck, stuck. <laughs> she said, "Stuck by train," and, and I was like, "Wait, struck or stuck?" <laughs> and she goes, "Stuck." And I was like, "Okay, good." And then we were just talking. <laughs> we were just we were joking about how awful it would be if if she got struck by a train because it would be awful. <laughs> but then her first thought is, "I need to message Josh." <laughs> It's not not night. call 911. Just message Josh. <laughs> just like I really got to inform them. This is it's just not really professional. Ma'am, are you okay? Me. Shut up. I need to get my phone. <laughs> someone someone grab it. Her leg gets backwards. Shut up. I'm texting. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. Nothing. Don't take me to the hospital. Do you need an ambulance? No. I need to get to the podcast. <laughs> Oh my god, Becca! Like, thank you. The ambulance thank you. comes, and then like you, I'm like uh, reroute to the house. <laughs> Get me a wheelchair. We gotta go. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you so much for coming on the podcast, though. Seriously, I really appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, I'm honored. I'm like, yes, I was asked. Yes, <laughs> I, uh, I need to be here. <laughs> I have. I don't know if you do this, but I have like a a section in my Discord that is private just to me that I like write stuff down in. Mm -hmm. uh, because I have, I, do you do I that? I have my own. Yeah, I have yeah? like a whole separate Discord for me. You have your own like Discord server just for you. <laughs> yeah, I love. I need to do that. That that would clean up my side of viewing stuff on my Discord. <laughs> just having its own space. I need to do that. And it's separated, and um, I can, I have it really organized. So like, if people like send me pictures or something, and I can like place it in there, and never forget it. I need. To, I've been just sending Joy stuff, my wife, like on on the her, through our DMs, because she works. doesn't really talk on Discord, so I just use that. But now I have had to scroll back so far, <laughs> and so I was like, I just need to make channels in my Discord, and that's what I did. But I, that's actually a really good idea. I need to make my own like Discord server for it. I think yeah, that's smart. and then you can you can transfer things through the server. Oh man, big such brain. such big brain, <laughs> such big brain. <laughs> I, I saw it on a TikTok and I was like, yeah. <laughs> that's so good. Oh man. My life is going to change. No, I literally I have a I have a little a channel for like all the podcast stuff and um I have like a list of people, like all the people that I want to have on eventually, like big, small, in between, like all I everybody. Love that. And uh I'm just going down the list because like if I asked because I did that for way back when we did the orchard the 11 season in the orchard is i just asked everyone and was like here yeah. are every saturday pick one that you like but that was such a pain because then some people had to be like oh i had to cancel or blah blah blah, blah and then you have to move people and then that might not work for them so i was like i just should ask the week before if they can great if not i asked somebody else you know just like and that's how i've been doing it um because that's it's good. just that's a good method because it's otherwise it's just because you have to work around everyone else's schedules it's so mm -hmm. hard mm -hmm. um but uh, I'm really happy that today worked, and uh, I'm excited to talk. We're going to talk about all kinds of stuff today. All so kinds of things. stuff. So many so, things. I'm so excited to talk about all of the things. All, yep. <laughs> all, yeah. all of them. 
Um, <laughs> all every of last them. one of them. <laughs> every single last. It's like we're going to collect all the. What am I talking? That was a good. Okay. Um, I was going to make a joke, but it just doesn't make sense. That's what happens on this podcast. This is what we call a derail moment where I just go off on a tangent thinking it's going to be funny. And then my brain realizes that it's not funny at all and I should stop talking. Okay. Uh, your brain's wrong because it is funny and you should keep saying it. We're going to collect all the rings just like in Her uh, Lord of the Rings. I was about to say Harry Potter. That's not the There's case. There's only one Lord of the Rings. Ring. There's only one. Well, they had all the uh, the wraiths. and uh, Anyway. See? Um. Anyway. <laughs> so, Becca, we've known each other for a really long time. We've known each other for a very long time. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's crazy. It's almost I, we're, been two years. Almost, yeah, almost been two years. <laughs> it's nuts. I, uh, because I just, I think I had my year and a half, uh, sub with you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is nuts. And you had yours <laughs> with my, me. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just, okay. So, like, I was running it back in my brain because a lot of people ask, like, oh, how'd you meet this person or whatnot? And I remember I I had followed Chips because I was like, I had been streaming for a month and I was like, man, I need to find people that um, I like to watch because like I hadn't started watching Twitch. I was a YouTube person. So I was just like, if I'm streaming on Twitch, I should probably watch people on Twitch. <laughs> and I was yeah, like, I need yeah. to find people that I like though, because like, if I'm going to watch people's content, like I want to find things that I can vibe with. So I found, I found Chips because he was playing Spider-Man. I want to find someone who was playing Spider-Man as well. And um, I met JD and Diana and Maury through them. And then I have met you. And I remember, I don't, I, and here's the thought. This is going to be great because I don't remember exactly how. I remember you raided me one time. But I can't remember if, if I had been to your streams yet or not. I don't think so. Because I was like, I like that the name and they have apples uh, follow <laughs> <laughs> i remember i remember i think i had follow i think i had followed you i'm not sure though but i do remember you raided me and it was like the day before i made affiliate like you had helped no way. boost that yeah i'm no pretty way. sure um because it was like you it was you uh chips um alexander average and brahm all four of you had like raided me in two days like two day span and that Aww. had given me that boost and it was just crazy Aww. but like that's the thing that that's how far back it goes it goes back so far um, crazy but yeah no i just i was thinking about that the other day and i was just like wow it's been so long such a long time and we've gone through so much over the last like so two years much. We've, like, uh, life has changed so, so many so, people so many like, people oh my God. Uh, come gone <laughs> disappeared dude it's it's nuts it's nuts i i i'm really happy with the way life has gone though me too um, and i i i at least this is a personal like view but i feel like you have really come into who you are and it was really nice to just, at least for me as well, I feel that way for myself. And mm -hmm. uh, Joy and I were just having that conversation the other day. We're like, wow, like over the last two years, we've grown so much just because of Twitch, which yeah. is weird to say, but like it, it is, is true. It is very true. I mean, I think it's, the, we socialized a lot more. And like when you, yeah. when you meet a lot of people, you get a lot of different perspectives and uh, your own views change and your own like thoughts. And you're like, oh, okay. Well, now yeah. I'm a whole different person. <laughs> wow, life. All right. <laughs> Throw that curveball at me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think that's... I think that's it's, it's, cool. it's cool. Like, don't get me wrong, but it's at the same time, like, I feel like it, it's... Uh, <laughs> life does not prepare you for itself no <laughs> like no, you no, no, growing no. up you don't you don't learn the things it's just life teaches you those along the way there's certain things that i don't think that you can be taught i think you can be like hey this might happen but like you just kind of have to find your way it's mm -hmm. it's that whole blindfolded going through a dark cave just like feeling your way out like all right, I think this is the way. I smell hot dogs, so let's <laughs> let's go this way. Um, but you know, it makes you it makes you who you are. It makes you I feel I feel like it makes your brain um able to com combat other things better. I mean, yeah. um, let's go right into a fucking deep conversation. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Yeah. I feel like I feel like especially with you, you're 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 planning on on going 
full time, right? I mean, that's the whole like, no, no you I are? am. So May 26th is the last day because my the place that I'm working at is closing like permanently. Oh, so, shit. Yeah. And I don't think here's the thing. I don't think I would have quit. So yeah. it's like it's like the world. It's like something was like, Telling this you. is coming to an end. Yeah, this yeah. is going to an end. You can do this. Put your heart into it. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I, I have no sadness for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited. You've had time to like prep yourself because you know it's, yeah. yeah. I think that's the best way it could have happened though, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm super psyched for you. And like, you, you've been doing this for a little longer than I have. And you've, you've gone through all kinds of stuff. Um, it's been a journey. It's been a, it's been a journey um, through that time have, I mean, I, f I feel like it's a guarantee through anyone I ask, but during the time that you've streamed, have you ever experienced that, like that burnout and the, like a depression section? I have went through so many changes in the last two years yeah. that uh, I've, I think I've felt every emotion. <laughs> it's just everything under the sun. It's, it's all hit like, me. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so like February was real hard for me. Um, <laughs> but we're here. <laughs> we're here. That's what's that's what's important. You know, we've we've gotten through it. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I think I think that there's a there's a. a at least one or two <laughs> and there'll probably be more um times for for at least me um where it's just like there's just so much going on not even on twitch but like also offline stuff mm -hmm. and just in life and you in just you get into a funk yeah there's just so much has happened over the last three years mm -hmm. and so it's just it's this uh it's this battle of back and forth what are you gonna do next what are you gonna do next just kind of mm -hmm. have to find find your way and um, it's a lot of pushing away old thought patterns that were like maybe instilled yeah when we were younger and a lot of finding who you are yeah and what you stand for and what you will accept and not accept and mm -hmm. keep pushing forward finding your own boundaries mm -hmm. yep knowing what they are and knowing how to uh set them for people Mm -hmm. And not taking their emotions if they don't accept them. Which is hard because so you want to be the nice person. <laughs> like, hey, I, you want to be really like, like that. Can you not do that? No, uh, fuck you. Uh, okay. yeah, like, oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, but also I need to stand up for myself. This is gonna be a it's, tummy ache. It's such a hard, it's such a hard thing. Not like I did at the beginning of this fucking podcast or so. I was like, I need to stop, like, stop. That wasn't funny. But you need to you need to like have some fucking confidence and like learn oh, yeah. learn to not apologize for everything. Like uh, apologize for nothing that's authentically you. Yes. That's it's so hard, but like when you are one hundred percent yourself and like then people follow suit. Mm. It's inspiring to others, you know? hundred percent. I I think that I, I've had this conversation a few times, but when I first started streaming I was I was who I wanted to be and I was like streaming what I wanted to do, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do on Twitch. It was just kind of like I was trophy hunting. I want to continue doing that on Twitch. And I then love trophy hunting. Dude, achievement hunting. Oh, oh. It's, there's nothing more satisfying than completing something and you're just like, I did it. No. Yep, yep. And it's like, oh, that was 200 hours of <laughs> perfect. No big deal. What's next? <laughs> um no, but uh, I, that's what I wanted to do because that's what I was doing during COVID. That's, you know, like that's what I, I found a passion for. And I was just like, ooh, let's do this on Twitch. And then with with becoming an affiliate and like meeting so many people, I just started doing like a bunch of like uh, just like party games and stuff like that. And I was just like everything, everything like, and like stuff that I wouldn't have dabble in everything. Yeah, because you're just like, ooh, this is exciting. This is new. And I you just try, try everything. It. And then yep. you just burn yourself out. Yep. And you, you're not who you want to be. And you're just kind of just not that like you're changing to be other p things, but you're doing things that you normally wouldn't have. And it's uh, not bringing you as much joy as yeah, when you first started. Exactly. And um, and to top that off, I think during that same time is when I, I went full time. Um, So it was that plus the oh, stress of everything. And <laughs> so I remember, <laughs> yeah, this past summer was just bad. And, oh, no. and then once my like one year came up, you know, everything started to like, 
bottle up and then yeah. you know just light things happened stuff off stream happened and it mm. just it finally festered over to the point where i was just dead inside and i knew it was coming across my streams and i was just like so tired of different things and i think that with everything coming to a halt in at the end of this year this past year um with me doing the rebrand with everything i was just like i'm taking back everything i want to i want to reevaluate i want to find myself again and i have to i have to admit the la this past week this past week has been the best week on for me for like streaming for how streams gone how i feel about them how everything's been going it's just i finally feel like i've honed in on what i like and what i want to do uh and you know and like it's just such a nice thing that's so good right and like i feel <laughs> like a lot of people cry. i'm so happy well i feel like i at least because i i lurk a lot in your streams because the yours is the perfect time you and doug um and andro and and it's sometimes uh sometimes mage depending on the day like i'll be able to just sit and work on stuff while you guys are streaming and like I'll, I'll message every once in a while but normally i'll just have you up watching while i have stuff going on like i'll be editing or whatnot and it's just it's cool to, from an outside perspective because you don't get to see yourself like at least for me personally i feel like you and doug and andro have all kind of like come into your own as well and of course like i don't know that's just an outside perspective but like it, it feels that way and it feels like you guys are really happy and like it's ex so many things are exciting and i talked to doug about this last week but um, it's just such a, or two weeks ago, um, it's just cool to see. Cause like, I feel like, I don't know if it's just that time of year and it's been so long, but like spring. every, yeah, spring <laughs> rejuvenation, everyone's just kind of like in a good mood and like doing their own shit. And it's, it's cool. I don't know. I'm just really, I've been really happy lately and I've, I've seen a lot of people be very happy and it's making me happy. Everything's yeah, just so it. happy, man. It's just so good. It's crying. <laughs> um, <laughs> But how, like, for for you, like, do you do you feel like ready for this change? And are you are you are you excited? Do you feel that same way about stream? Like, uh, yeah. Do you feel I, like you're getting there? I don't really know where I'm going. <laughs> like, that's fair. I I feel like I'm I'm doing a, my best, and that's all I can do. And yeah, I feel happy with what's happening and. Um, yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's hard. I'm so bad at <laughs> advertising myself. Yeah. <laughs> and like, oh yeah, this is I'm very happy with this progress and this and this and this. I'm just like, yo, this video got like 27 likes. This is great. And I'm like, yeah. and I just live. <laughs> yeah. I've been dealing with a lot of like personal stuff. Mm hmm. So it's really hard to manage both. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, I never want to go to stream putting on like a face because that's one of my main focuses is like be authentically yourself, even if you're not having the best day. Yeah. Which is super challenging. Because Twitch is like this site where you're like constantly entertaining. If you're not constantly entertaining. Wow. Mm -hmm. I think it's also a big thing where it's at least something that I try to do on mine is is no no talking about trauma and and stuff like that. Like if it's yeah, in the conversation, the yeah, yeah. It's if it's in conversation, we're having like some downtime and we we're already on the subject. Of, obviously, it's just reading the room, but um, you, you know, I, for me at least, I like just watching stuff that is up upbeat and uplifting and like. Because we already have to deal yeah. with so much during the day yeah. in our real life that that's what you would come to Twitch for, you know? Um, yeah, it's true. Then, like, creating those spaces, this is a lot of fucking work. You've got to mm -hmm. manage a lot. you got to manage a lot. There's a lot of people. A mm -hmm. lot of people. A lot of people talking about things. A lot of a stuff lot of off stream that people message uh -huh. you. And you got to be like, hey, like, you know, yeah, setting those I've boundaries. I've really lucky with my mods and like yeah. my whole team. Yeah. I've gotten really fucking lucky because yeah. we have full on conversations <laughs> about things and yeah. they have 
all different points of views and then we all come together and we're like okay well this thing needs to be done but not before we've like talked about it yeah and that's like keeping the safe really the space really safe <clears throat> even things that happen off stream like in other people's stream like we're like uh we don't want that over here <laughs> yeah well and that's the thing i i think we've we've talked about this in in depth before but i think a lot of people have the misconception of um you can only ban someone if they uh if there it happens in your channel or if they if they do you something know how bad that is because like think of the real world if someone is like <laughs> an asshole not to someone to be dramatic yeah if <laughs> no. someone like goes and shoots somebody you're like well he hasn't shot me so yeah, yeah like, no exactly no, <laughs> no i it's it's the same kind but i think it's because we're on the like tv like we're, we're on people's screens and stuff i think people don't think it's, about that because like it's the same thing with people coming into chat for the first time and just spewing and trolling. It's like if you yeah, walked no, up to out. someone on the street and we're just like, hey, your mom, like yeah. you, you would I be mean, like, honestly, I would what? laugh at that. I would laugh. Well, yeah, yeah that's true, because true. it's funny. But like, you know, if they come in and they they spew like hate or something like that, it's yeah. just like if you, were in, if you were in the real world, you probably get socked like <laughs> You know? Dude, I had somebody come into stream oh. the other day because they were like, oh, I got gifted a sub. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then they were like, I don't know why I keep gift Twitch keeps gifting me subs like this. I think it's a waste of money. I don't even watch these channels. And I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? Do you think Twitch is doing that? Like, <laughs> someone's giving that. It might randomly go to you, but why won't you just be grateful? Like, <laughs> don't even you decided to, to come in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other thing. I've had a lot of people recently um, complain about ads that pop up mm -hmm. because like I have it set where it's not pre-roll ads when you join in. It's once every hour. So that way it's ad free viewing during those segments, you know, right. so that way if people raid, they don't have to get hit with an ad right away. And yeah. people do it differently at every channel. But um, it's just it has to be that way because there's no way to turn off ads for everybody. Right. Um, and and you it, there's ads everywhere else like youtube and and on on like television and stuff and mm -hmm. as soon as the ads go they're like oh my god three fucking ads and i'm like what i can't do anything for you i can't help you like what do you want from me maybe and it's, maybe, maybe maybe you should use that prime subscription <laughs> well that's the thing a lot of people in my chat have just we have a command for it now just being like hey sorry for the ads it's twitch delegated like we can't do anything if you want to have uh, ad free viewing you can sub because that's what that does that's crazy um, see i don't have that you should add it. It's nice. <laughs> That's just, crazy. Just for if it happens. But like, and because it's been recently that a lot of people will just like, will be like, oh, I'm in ad hell or ad apocalypse. Or they'll say like, oh, nine ads. But it's always like, it's always three minutes of ads for every hour. Because a uh -huh. minute and a half gives you 30 minutes. And it's like Sp Pandora back in the uh -huh. day. You know, you, you listen to the three minutes ads, you get 30 minutes of ad free viewing. Like ad free listening. Yeah. Yeah. And uh I have it set up that way. And so there sometimes it's like seven ads that span three minutes. Sometimes it's two ads that are a minute and a half each. Like it's always that way. Mm -hmm. Um, and so they're always like nine fucking ads and like, they can't hear me or sometimes they can cause it's a banner or whatnot, but I'm always like, Hey, I'm sorry, but they keep just going off about the ads and I'm like, I'm, there's nothing I can do. Like I it's Twitch. Like if I, if I could, I would, but that's what makes the platform free. That's what I can do. This as a job is, you know, they they get 50 percent and they also have the ads going. That's how they can live stream everybody all the time, constantly. Yeah, I'm sorry you're having to go through that. Eh, we we people, all it's, people complain about everything. Yeah, it is what it is. And that's the thing. That's why you have to handle it certain ways. You know, yep, you there do. could be and worse things for people to be. And you doing in my chats so i'm i'm actually i feel lucky that it's just the ads <laughs> you know you're complaining about because it could be a lot worse and i i uh i mean yeah you know <laughs> but uh um, it's crazy I, I had to take pansexual off of my tags so i stopped getting hate rated <laughs> i i've been in your stream when the so many of those have happened and it's it's honestly it's honestly crazy that it doesn't even it could be any any tag in that category uh-huh any of them and mm -hmm. people will single it out it's crazy i had mm -hmm. um i had ally on mine and people would come in and they wouldn't i wouldn't get hate rated but a lot of people come in and just like 
refute it being like oh ally of what what like ally yeah sure like, like and ally they would just and you're just like ally your mom <laughs> <laughs> hey what the hell um but it's crazy it's and it's so crazy that it's still going on to be honest i mean hate has been around for fucking the earth being created but mm -hmm. it still baffles I me take it upon myself to be like I'm not paying attention to you. Uh, Mark, can you delete that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's all you can do. That's all you, well, and that's, it sucks <laughs> because that's all you can do. And like, yeah, it stops, but you, it's any, anything, even like we, 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 let, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's anything. Talk about even if it's a one little thing, one off, a little comment, something a little here, something a little there. You feel anything it. you feel it and it affects mm -hmm. the stream for probably the next 30 minutes or so because you're thinking mm -hmm. about it and then things happen and you move on you know mm -hmm. like someone spoiling a game someone mm -hmm. deleting you know someone making a weird comment or you know or like for me what something that happens every once in a while is someone will make comment about like joy and she won't be there but it'll be like a little too far like it'll be a joke and i'm like just because she comes on stream every once in a while doesn't give you the right to talk about her in any kind of capacity in that sense, you know, and some things like that will just like irk me a little bit and I'll just be like, oh, fuck. And it'll be for like the rest of the stream or like the ads or, you know, and so yeah. it, it, I feel like that's just another thing that you kind of have to just get like a tough it's skin. A learning for. Curve. It's, it's a it's, learning. It's, yeah, it's a learning curve. It's it. I think that, you know, you have the your way of doing your mods and I have my way of doing my mods and you have to just adapt to that. Like you, yep. you, you have a way of doing things to handle the situations that you have to deal with. I have one for mine and I think every streamer and, is just something you have to learn. And there's going to be so many situations that like, I don't even know what's going to happen and then we'll have to adapt with that and yep. then we'll learn. Another conversation. Uh-huh. Yep. It Which is, is the way it is. I like but no, learning. yeah. <laughs> Every day, the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided. I've decided. I'm gonna start um, replying to my not so kind comments. Like I got this one comment on a Minecraft short that I did on YouTube, and it was it said noob, and I was like the noobiest. <laughs> I, just, I feel proud just of that. Comment back with <laughs> lols. Like just if they they like, say yeah, something, thanks. you got a joke. You just joke back. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best way to deal with it. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. I think, I mean, it's already known. It's already known that if you're in, in social media in any sense, there's always going to be people who are going to cause issues because it's just how the internet's been forever. So mm -hmm. you kind of, you, when you join in in any capacity, you kind of, you know, it's going to be there somehow, but every single time it does make it easier <laughs> because you still hear stuff or you, you see stuff and you're just like, fuck, why? Why? There's yeah. no point, man. Yeah. yeah. The joys of the Internet. But <laughs> in a positive note, a lot of mm -hmm. good has come from it. Like we've discussed mm -hmm. so much. Like I met you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, we we just went on a rant, which I loved, and I'm really happy about that. But I want to outlet because a lot of people, you know, uh, who listen to the podcast, I've come to find actually don't even watch my streams. There's a lot of people who listen to the podcast <gasps> who don't oh. uh, go on Twitch, which is crazy. What? So cool. Love you for listening. Thank you so much. But um, to the people who don't know you, Becca, tell me about yourself. Oh, man. Talk about your streams. What do you do? What do you what do you <laughs> love to do? What what kind of hobbies you got? You know, I I I stream. <laughs> if you haven't figured that out already we stream <laughs> oh my god uh i'm so bad because like getting raids i'm like hi hello <laughs> i'm becca i'm playing stardew valley right now and we're trying to fuck everyone <laughs> i hope you stick around <laughs> Yeah, it's, I, I, I just say I like apples. That's what I, I've I've decided to not like go on a spiel and do the whole like I'm a variety streamer, blah 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 blah, because everyone says that. I just like yeah, I like apples so much. I I made it my brand here. They're so yummy. Hello. Mm. <laughs> I hope yum, you yum. enjoy. You want one? Because <laughs> it's awkward. It's awkward. 100. percent It is. Uh, I'll just say some random stuff like these. <laughs> These past few streams have been so off the rails because <laughs> I have this new aspiration. <laughs> Of wanting to poop in the woods. 
I do it. Like in IRL or in in yeah, Stardew? No. <laughs> IRL? I want it. You want to hear? You want to hear something funny? I've pooped in the yeah. woods. See what the fuck? So I've I've <laughs> peed in the woods, you know. Yeah. But like as you do, uh, but I've never pooped in the woods, and I I just want that freeing experience. So I said that like a few weeks ago, and then <laughs> it's been on this whole tangent, and now we're at the point in stream. Where I'm asking people, I guess this was a few days ago. Uh, <laughs> Josh, I'm so sorry. About Have you this. pooped in the woods? <laughs> no, I mean I've already asked that. Like that's pretty tame compared uh, to this. Um, <laughs> you know anybody who poops in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> Ew! Wait, no, <laughs> wait. Who do they do? They do. Do they just <laughs> shove their foot down the drain and like? <laughs> oh no. It's called waffle stopping. Is that actually the name? Is there's a name for it? Yeah. No. There's you. That's so gross. Oh my gosh! And then and then and then someone shared their story. And I was oh, like, Oh no. my god. Do you want me to share my story of pooping in the woods? In, in the shower. Not the shower. No, I've never done that. <laughs> I hate that. I've actually heard this 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 conversation before of someone being like, oh, yeah, uh, I poop in the shower. And I was like, why? And it's like, because I'm already in the shower, then I can just clean it, blah, blah, blah. I was like, then why wouldn't you poop and then hop in before. the shower? Because I, I hop after a lot of the times when I get up in the morning, because I'm a morning streamer now is I'll get up. I'll go for a walk with the dog and joy. Then we'll come back. We'll have breakfast. Then shortly after, then I'll go take poop. my morning poop. And yep. then I hop in the shower before stream. Yeah. Then I get on my computer clean and do all the stuff. Butt. And it's a clean butt. You feel cleansed. Mm -hmm. You're you're empty. <laughs> You've dropped your pound mm -hmm. for the day. Mm -hmm. You are ready. You're ready. You're ready for. There's the no gas. <laughs> there's no cramps. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's no. There's no. Uh, there's no crust. Um, the and drains aren't big enough for the poop to go down, Josh. That's <laughs> right. it's, it's, <laughs> no, in the shower, it's not. I 100% agree. But anyway, like, what are you? <laughs> anyway, waffle stopping. Jesus Christ! Don't don't taint waffles that way. <laughs> um, I remember distinctly. This was a, a memory from childhood. I actually thought about this the other the day. It's it was it, on a farm slash woods. Sure. So there was uh, my dad does drum and bugle corps. OK, mm -hmm. um, and he writes the drill for it so that the kids are out in the fields and they'll do like the marching band stuff. And um, he's been doing it for um, a, a school for a really long time. And so when I was a kid, I would go in the summers with him and while he was having band camp and would just hang out. But the school would be closed because like, you know, they're not there and they don't have to unlock the doors and whatnot. And so there were certain points of the day where you could go and unlock the school and they would go in and they would have like lunch and stuff and then all that's jazz. But there was only two, well, one porta potty for all the kids outside. And there was, there was a line because everyone needed to use it. And I had a fucking poop. And I remember I was like, fuck, I don't know where to go. And there was like a farm down the hill. Cause I'm in fucking Kentucky, Pennsylvania. And there was a farm like right down the, the hill from the school. And so I ran down there, right next to the woods area, and I dug a little hole. I pooped in the ah. ground, and I covered it up. Wait, so you, your your two hands just I <laughs> dug a hole like a like fox. A shit. <laughs> I pooped in the hole, and I covered it up. <laughs> <laughs> and then eventually, when it was the the line was gone, I was able to go into the toilet potty and use their hand sanitizer wash thing to like wash my hands. <sighs> I had a poop. I was like, I gotta do it. It was coming oh. either way. I was like, it's either I shit my pants or I go in the in a hole. Honestly, that's so much better than um, pooping in your pants. Yeah, no, 100%. Because then I had to sit in the hot sun for three more hours outside. <laughs> yeah. Oh, on a bleacher that's probably gonna just heat the shit up in my pants. Anyway. Um, <laughs> it's so seeping through. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I can't move. Do you want to go over here? The, no. The poop is. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh my god. But anyway, tell me, tell me about your stream. Do you play Stardew? I know you just went through Life is Strange, which was such an Not, emotional yeah, game. We're gonna. Holy we're doing fuck. the last episode tomorrow. Um, oh god. It'll be my first. Cause, <sighs> so the whole thing with Life is Strange is I have blue hair, and they keep yeah. saying I look like Chloe from Life is Strange. Yeah. And then I bought. I didn't buy anything. Beautiful, beautiful people have bought me it. Um, the shirt and the necklace, and I have a beanie, and I'm mm -hmm. gonna like 
quote unquote cosplay is Chloe from Life is Strange. Yeah. So that'll be my first. I'm a little nervous. Like dressing up on stream is kind of nerving. Yeah. But I play I Minecraft. That. I'm a I'm a Minecraft stream. <laughs> and I, Dude, your Minecraft yeah. server is bopping. They're planning on restarting it. Really? <laughs> Yeah, because the 1.19 update comes out June, possibly earlier. Mm. Um, but Venus is so... Venus is a fucking legend because he's going to do a portal from one server to the other. Like, he's going to link them. He's going to have two servers and have a portal. And if you want to go to the Wait, other can server... Can you do that? Go through, yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't either. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, I can do that. And that's like, like That's like... That's like MCU, like Doctor Strange going uh, to a different universe. <laughs> it's, well, it's we're crazy. gonna have it. It's gonna be and, and like the items won't transfer and stuff. And anyways, I also play um The Witcher. Mm -hmm. I'm reading the books right now too. I saw that They're on your Instagram. Very misogynistic. Is it really? It really, sucks. I've never read the book. <laughs> <laughs> They're older, me, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Do you want me to read you a small snippet? <laughs> Are you going to read one of your favorite lines you had? <laughs> yeah. Okay, do it, please. Okay, I got, I'm going to open it. But um, it's just... it's. Ah, it's Do you see the new games coming out? They have the new game? It's in... Yeah. It's going to be a while, but like... I saw that they announced the thing and they showed the, the necklace in the snow. And I was like, ooh. They're I haven't played any of the games. Guys. No? No, never played. I own uh, the third one. Um, like the complete, like with the wine and wine, blood and wine DLCs really and stuff. Good. I haven't played the other ones, um, because they're old. But it's, <laughs> that's it's, the one that, that that's really the good. one I got. It was like three dollars on sale, so I grabbed yeah. it. Yeah, it's got a lot of story in it, and I think that's why I like it. Mm. Um, I like the universe of like medieval. Yeah. Stuff. I watched Lord of the Rings for the first time in my life in December, and Wait, I've for been obsessed. Real? Yeah. Oh and my the god. And it, oh, I'm the extended editions are good. Have you seen uh, The Hobbit yet? I've not. Okay. You'll need to watch that. Should I? Yeah. I know, I know there's a lot of people who are like, eh. I still enjoyed it for the, like, this is a story. Like, it's it's not yeah. like the book, but yeah. it's still good. It's a good, those are good movies. Like, they're still good movies. And if you uh, like uh, that universe, you'll like it, you know? I do, yeah. 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 The extended editions of those have better battle scenes, so I would recommend watching those. <laughs> I feel like the extended edition is how you should watch it. Oh, 100%. 100 of any movie. If there's an extended any edition, movie. you got to watch it because they they, mm -hmm. they mastered the deleted scenes and put them in. It's how they wanted the movie to be made. 100%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, here's a little paragraph. Okay. It's very short. <laughs> Um, this is Lambert talking to Siri. You have no idea who are those. Anyways, it says faster Siri. Siri's a girl. Um, uh, lunge, attack, dodge, thrust, balance, balance with your left arm or you'll fall from the comb and you'll hurt your dot, 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 womanly attributes. <laughs> um, so that's the, th the theme of the book. <laughs> so are the, everyone's just like misogynistic, but also don't want to say like specific words. It's well, so, and I guess. They're trying to show that witchers don't know anything about female, but like it's every page. Love that. <laughs> it's just so great. It's just it's like unneeded information, right? Yeah. Like, okay, I get it. I get it. Um, I'm also on page like 132 out of 400. <laughs> oh, damn. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, they're big books, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. My, yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I uh, derail that. <laughs> no, no, that was good. I'm glad. This is this is the the joyous part about this podcast. It has no structure. That's I and I I like it this way because it's like it. it's just a conversation. That's and how I do a lot of my events. Is no structure. Like yeah. you have the basis of what you want. Exactly. Maybe some things that you want to do, but then like have fun with it. Exactly. Do you remember you remember my my uh twenty four four hour thing I did like last yep. year? That yep. was the same way. I had a structure of what I had people that are like around the times that like I was like, okay, this is what I'm structured off. In between that, it was just fucking whatever I wanted to do. It was good. I, you're crazy. Uh you and Doug are both crazy, and I will not be doing a twenty four hour stream. <laughs> it's you're nuts. It's not as bad as you would think. The 48 hour, I'm not going to do again. That was. Fort. Do you remember that? 
No. Last year in May when I did my push to 1K, <gasps> I uh I streamed for it was 48 hours. Yeah, I streamed oh, for 48 God. hours. <laughs> I remember but, you doing the push, but I didn't know it was 48 hours. Yeah, it was 48 hours, but I I I joy would take over for like hour segments and I would take like an hour nap and then come back. Um, oh, he's wonderful. Yeah, she's awesome. Wonderful mm. human being. I love them so much. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, that was that was a pain in the ass. There's a crazy people out there on Twitch who do like some crazy stuff. You know? Yeah. It's so cool to learn what I want to do. Like, I'll watch people and be like, I don't want to do that. Or I'll be like, yeah, I want to do that, but I want to do it in this way. And I yeah. think that's wonderful about the internet. And there's so much, like, gatekeeping in Twitch. Oh, my God. On any, everywhere, on there's everything. gatekeeping. <laughs> and they're like, you stole my command. And you're like, Bro, I, I, I'm like, take my commands. Take them. I, I, I'm so glad that you can use them. <laughs> if it, This is the way it is for everything, is the fact that everything has derived from everything else so mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. something and you feel like you could do it better in your own way don't copy it completely because obviously then you're just doing the same thing somebody else is doing but do mm -hmm. your own twist on it and like from i know a lot of people loved my uh what is it, the the falling background with like the round corners and stuff i've seen a lot of people go do that after i've done it and i'm like fuck yeah because it looks cool and if it they get a, cool if they get a creative like boost from that, do it. Like that's mm -hmm. that's what being a creative is. A lot of the time, artists and stuff, they're copying off of something they see. Yep. That's that's like you know you know the the, the whole like uh, cliche of like the the painter on the the cliffside painting the cliff that they're looking off on. That's literally mm -hmm. them copying and painting down. Yes, they're they're creative in the sense that they're doing it, but like they're looking at something and making something else. That's that's the definition of being like creative is coming up with something in your mind based off of what you know already, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, but no, I I I think there was a lot of things that I learned from the first year, and then when when I did my my rebrand, I was just like, this is what I want to do, and this is what I want to do. And speaking of gatekeeping, I with with trophy hunting and also Xbox like gamer score, like that whole vibe of trophy like achievement hunting. There are mm -hmm. so many people in both of those communities that are like super gatekeeping of the the hobby itself. Like how, like if someone will come in and be like, hey, how do you get that? They'd be like, hmm. <laughs> well, not even that. It's just like, it's like an entitlement of like, depending on what you have achieved bases on if you're actually in the group or not. So like for me, I play a lot of indie games. A lot of people are like, oh, you've never played Dark Souls. You're not a true trophy hunter then. Ew. Like that kind of, and you're like, what the, like we both like the same thing. I just like different games than you. Why does that fucking matter? It's the same, it's the same Lame. battle between like Xbox is better than PlayStation. Both have their own merits. Why uh -huh. do we have to have a war? <laughs> There's no need. People take stands on things unless, unless. You like ketchup. I, I can't stand it. I like ketchup. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> okay, but and here's the thing. You're allowed. I, I, I This is a just a random thought. Um, derail. Mm -hmm. um, the <laughs> like you're it's good to have your own standpoints on things and be staying true to that. A hundred percent. Yeah, but except can I tell you a secret? Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> Um, pineapple and pizza isn't that bad, but if I, if you tell stream, I, I will find you. Don't, don't tell them. Okay. okay. I like pineapple on pizza too. <laughs> yeah, but they think I hate it. Oh, I, they think I, you I, hate it? Yeah. I, well, I, I thought I hated it too, but then I tried it and it's like, okay. It's, it's one but of those like, things where it depends on how you have it and who makes it. Yeah. Sometimes it tastes like vomit. Sometimes yeah. it tastes pretty good. It depends on who makes it hundred percent. No, I agree with yeah. you. I agree with you. Um, right, cool. I won't, I won't Anyways. tell anybody. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> it felt good to get that off my chest. Woo. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think there's a there's a lot of people who uh, no. What I was saying, sorry, um, was I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. This is how it is. This is the podcast. Woo -hoo! Um, <laughs> <laughs> did you just clap? Yeah, I clapped. <laughs> um, it's good to have a viewpoint and your own viewpoint of thing because that's how you you base your being off of. That's how your mindset is like. If you like something, own that. Like you like it and be strong. Like, you know, have an opinion on that. And that's good. 
but don't go into a conversation expecting to change someone's mind. Yeah, no. Because I feel like I that's, that's how life. a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a lot. A lot of people go into conversations having that because, like, especially on, you see it on streams, you see it on, on Twitter, especially. Like mm -hmm. it, you can appreciate someone else liking something, but you don't have to like it yourself. Yep, and that's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like you're not gonna you, like everything. Exactly, you don't like ketchup. That's fine. There's nothing wrong mm -hmm. with that. I I like ketchup. Do I want cool. you to like ketchup? <laughs> I don't care if you like ketchup or not. I don't fucking care. It's not like I'm going to show up at a bar barbecue and smack it out of your hands and be like, we're not friends if you put that on your burger right now. Squirt it all over you like, Heinz! Heinz! <laughs> <laughs> ketchup! You're trying oh. to catch it with your burger. <laughs> <laughs> don't waste it! Oh, but people... And, th and that's the thing. I feel like everything's on levels too because then you can't say the same thing about like morality you know because yeah. there's certain things that like if someone's like oh yeah i like this you're like whoa okay <laughs> but like that it, but it's <laughs> that's why it's hard and i feel like that's the thing that people don't talk about is the fact that everyone wants the like the whole free speech and also like uh like your standpoints like it doesn't matter what your opinion is as long as you're being you because then there's certain things that are just like no morally it's, it wrong. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you've and so, be kind. And exactly. You have to, like, know what's wrong and what's right. And exactly. someone tell me if that's wrong, then you learn and you get educated. Why is it wrong? Exactly. But and then then that's the thing. It's like well then you it's it's hypocritical because you said that yeah, I can like whatever I want and it's, just, it's like well if if it's harming someone or yourself, <laughs> nah, then nah. you know. It's different. Yeah, we're sure, we're talking about condiments and work. pizza cho toppings, not exactly. you know the way you run your life. Yeah. Oh, pe like, people are can, weird. You man. can still like that, but you're not allowed here, and you can't. Be yeah, friend. there are like certain. Well, sure. and there and there there's the levels again because certain things are like I'm not gonna be like I'm not gonna um you know tell you that what you're doing is wrong, but I don't agree with it, and that will cause problems. Therefore, I don't want you around. You yep. know. It, they're not hurting anyone or yourself themselves, but it's also something that you can't get behind. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing, but there's, there it is. The setting of boundaries again. It's important. Mm -hmm. It's fucking important. Life. Real important. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're learning every day. Did you clap again? Yeah. I'm, I dance in my chair. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I'm I, spinning a little. <laughs> I, I go side to side. Do you have a fidget cube? I okay. Let me tell you what I have on my desk right now that I okay, fit you with. Let's do it. Two. <laughs> there's a penny in front of me, and there are two. <laughs> That's so specific. It's <laughs> such an odd thing. Do, coin. Do you know the finger puppets? Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. There's two rat hands standing <laughs> beside the penny. I've seen those on you. You pulled those out before. I've seen that. <laughs> Behind it is a keyboard filled with crystals that sometimes I play with. Behind that is a octopus. And an octopus. Mm, yeah. And a frog. Okay. <laughs> and I'll spin those in my hand a lot. <laughs> yeah. I think I need a fidget cube. <laughs> I I have one that I got um on stream a while back. It's like green and black, and it has like a bunch of different knobs and twirly bits and stuff. I don't like the spidget finners, uh, fidget spinner. I just mix those words together. I don't know if you heard you, that. You did really good at mixing them. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I swear, I think I'm dyslexic. Um, <laughs> I had a fidget spinner. Twitch will do that to you because you got to read know. everything. Holy crap. I always feel so bad because like I'll, I'll read someone's message and my brain will think that I've started at the top when I've started at the bottom <gasps> and I'll miss yeah. work. I'll miss messages because I've started at a different spot. And no, then so oh. <laughs> I'll I'll read the message and be like, ha ha ha, yeah, comment. And then they're like, that's not what I said. And I go back and reread it. And I'm like, no, no, that's not what you said <laughs> at all. That's not. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And they're like, it's fine. Also, I just got your message with the, the <laughs> red hands of the penny. I love it. I love it. Um, no, but I, I used to have a fidget spinner and it just was, it didn't do it for me. It didn't, it didn't okay, uh, for a moment. solve that itch. Yeah. But this thing has so many different things that you can touch and move on it that I just kind of hold in my hand and it's small enough where I can just like maneuver it around. And I also have a pen because I really like clicking pens. So do, um, do, do you like PewDiePie slash watch PewDiePie? Yeah. He does that knife thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's just a contact creator and I think we've made it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that what? That's... <laughs> 
<laughs> That's how you know if you've made it as a content creator. You have some sort of fidget that you do Wait. on your stuff. <laughs> you have rat hands. I have We're a fidget a cue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. PewDiePie has a fucking swift knife. <laughs> He's a switchblade. It's so threatening. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I've seen him. I, uh, what is it? Oh, no, you know what? I think Jack Septic Guy has something too. I think he has like a. I think he has the ring thing. I cannot wait to um, be a part of their life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to? I want to. I would like to meet Jack. I think it'd be cool. Markiplier can. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of sus. <laughs> oh my god. No, what is it? Uh, I think this is a, this is this is an interesting conversation. Um, how do you feel? How do you? <laughs> You How said do you... that right after I made the Markiplier comment. <laughs> <laughs> that has nothing to do with that, but also has to do with like Markiplier and PewDiePie and, and Jack yeah. the guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as those are the people who we grew up watching, and now we're kind of doing what they're doing, but not in the extent because obviously they've been around for fucking ever and they have huge platforms and stuff. Mm -hmm. But what do you feel that there are people that we know? who view us the same way that we view these other people. Um, yeah. Now, how, and how, on a, on a more personal level. Yeah. On a more personal at least, level. At least, yeah. For me, I can't really speak for others, but I feel in a, on a more personal level because there are like a, a handful of people that in the last two years I've watched or like seen grow mm -hmm. and like t they've taken us on their life and stuff. And that's what I did with like PewDiePie. I've watched him grow. Yeah. So if I'm watching them grow, they're watching me grow. Yeah. We're doing it together. That's, a, like that's a good way of looking at it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I never thought so about it in that. You're sitting over there and you're like, yeah, I'm so proud of them. They're growing. They're coming into their own. You're coming into your own. Mm. And I'm watching you. <laughs> and I'm watching you. <laughs> And I, I see you, <laughs> I'm always there. <laughs> nah, that's a good way. Of, I've never thought about it as in that in that context. And wow, wow, yeah. interesting. There's like one person who I like every time they bring us something new. I like sob because I'm so proud of them as a human. And it's so crazy because like if if you get real deep about it, we're shaping people's lives like that you know yeah like because i'm influenced by them so like they they have to be a little influenced it's crazy because everyone including pewdiepie and jack septicai and markiplier and all of them those big ones they they're just human beings doing what we're doing and they've gone through the same things that we've <gasps> gone through yeah you know and so yeah. but we were molded by their growth and who they are mm -hmm. and so in turn we're who we are but in the same term we're shaping the people who are around us and watching us and so at some level we're all teaching each other mm -hmm. that's humans that's, just, humans. that's humans that's humans. humans that's humans so i had this revelation okay. i see um i love green day with my being <laughs> Beautiful and day. i saw them in august live I never thought I would be able to see them because, like, they're kind of an older band. I don't know. They don't tour as much. Um, and I was like, holy shit, that's a person who's worked so fucking hard to get to where they're at right now. I'm going to be that person. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. I'm going to work so hard. We are going to get there and we're going to, like, feel as successful as he feels right now. Because he's human. 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 <laughs> it's crazy, dude. I. I said, you you've opened my eyes a little bit to some things. I think it's a good way of like viewing it because in my mind I was like, wow, this is so weird. Like, you know. But you're you're absolutely correct in the fact that like we are kind of just molding everybody. Everyone's molding each other without yeah. sometimes not even without realizing it. You know, one hundred percent. I'm a better person because like I know you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I wouldn't be who I am, and that goes the same for the people who have wronged us too because we wouldn't yep. be who we are without that experience 
Exactly. And then those people wouldn't be who they are with having that experience to like know that yeah. that was wrong. A hundred percent. It's crazy. Human that women. like that, and that's the thing, like I, there are certain people in my life who I've I still feel like very like hurt by and like Yeah. But like but at the same time not that you have to appreciate them for what they did, but at the same time, I'm like, I wouldn't be where I am. And mm -hmm. where, like what I said earlier with my streams, like I wouldn't be being where I am and happy with myself, but it also needed to happen because that's mm -hmm. life. It, like it needed to happen because it was like a, a sore that just needed to be dealt with, you yep. know? And I, I was it like festers and yeah. then you have to deal with it later and you're like, ah, that, that hurts more. <laughs> it hurts more, but also it's better that you got rid of it. Yep. Um, oh man, this is a deep conversation. Deep. Deep. <laughs> deep. <laughs> like Mal Markiplier's voice. <laughs> oh my God. You know what's really funny about that is uh, I don't care about corpse. Because <laughs> corpse sounds like he's inhuman. <laughs> <laughs> Gorb sounds like he's he's sick all the time. <laughs> he's just got a deathly disease. Yeah, <laughs> he's just talking through it. <laughs> he actually doesn't he doesn't he actually have like a condition? Oh, I'm gonna feel really bad if he does. No, I think he actually has like something like something wrong. That I actually think he does, oh, and God. that's why he has the voice he does, and that's why he which. I don't think he, what you said is is accurate. Oh, you said because he no. has he's talking through it. I think he actually has that. Everyone's like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "You're literally glorifying his disability." Like, oh, I'm sorry, Quartz. But I think he what he's done is he's taken what he's his voice or whatever. And I if if I'm utterly speaking out of my ass right now, this is what I remember because I don't really follow him at all. But I remember hearing about this. I don't know if it's true or not. Um was uh was that's the case so that's why he does music and stuff because he's just using what he has you know because yeah. he wanted to do his own thing but he was like also my voice is like this so i'm just gonna do that <laughs> i could yeah. be wrong though i could be wrong but another person who's molded and doing with what they have mold 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 we're moldy boys <laughs> mold boy. Mold, oh, moldy we boys stick. and we say sticky boys <laughs> Sticky boys? Sticky, with sticky boys. Sticky we were playing boys, Slime Rancher boys. one day um, because I'm a variety streamer on Twitch, guys. Um, <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> we were playing Slime Rancher and uh, one of Sam, <laughs> Sam uh, came in and was like, are we getting sticky tonight? Um, and now we're all sticky boys. <laughs> we're sticky boys. Which is, don't think about it too much. You can be sticky in multiple ways. Yeah, it doesn't yep. have to be the way that we're all thinking right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm a Friday streamer on Twitch. Uh, <sighs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. I'm Good trying times. to advertise more, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing fantastic. I'm proud of you. you. Dude, you. posting everywhere in a variety type of way is so difficult. I I have this I have this conversation on Chip Stream the other day actually because it was brought Chips. up Chips Josh 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 um <laughs> we uh <laughs> we actually talked about like social media posting and stuff and I he was like man I I would post and stuff like that and like you know it's it's hard to like figure out what platform to do it on and then also like coming up with things every day because also like I'm not that interesting and I'm like I feel you on that in all fronts. And I'm doing this full time and I still forget and don't do it. Yep. And I've, I've and sat okay. and edited so much and like, I would hate myself for it. And I'd be like, Josh, why aren't like, you're literally full time. People literally no. complain about like wanting to quit their job and do this and you're doing it and you can't even post every day on social nah, media. You're being and then, so harsh on yourself. And see, and that's when, that's when I was like, you know what? I am doing a podcast every week. I'm streaming every day. Uh -huh. I've, you know, I, I've got a wife and a dog that I take care of and I, I hang out with on time. Life. You know, it's, it's, it's life and I'm doing things in moderation. So like what You're right doing now, literally this, the best that you can. Yeah. This right now works for me. And once I perfect that, I can add one more thing and yep. I can keep going and then add one more thing. So right now I'm posting on Twitter 
like once or twice a day. I've been using the like owl thing that like lets you post it posts for you. <laughs> Your tweets are often like so <laughs> random. Thank you. Some, Thank you. Sometimes, sometimes I'll read them and I'm laying there and I have to read it like three times. And I'm like so, uh, like <laughs> to to fill you in, um, what I've been doing is my waffle of the day, like the wordle. I use every uh -huh. word that's in there to make a tweet. Oh wow! That's what I've been doing every morning because we do Wordle and Hurdle and and the Geo Guesser oh, and stuff. You do it on stream? Yeah, every morning. That's one of the oh, like morning gosh, things that's we do. So cool. Yeah, yeah. And so, but what we do our waffle, which is like it's Wordle but like in the waffle shape, and then it gives us uh, six words, and we take those six words and we make a tweet out of those six words. So it doesn't make that's any dope. fucking sense. But nope. I've realized that people don't realize that it's from my stream. And I'm like, this looks really weird. It looks like I'm fucking mental. So I was like, why don't like I take losing it a little? And I'm like, yeah. no, I, I'm here for <laughs> So like today and yesterday, what I've decided to do is is based off of one or two words that are in the waffle like selection, I make a tweet that I find funny. So like today and yesterday, t yesterday was like haters was one of the words. So I said, we shouldn't, we shouldn't uh, clap back at our haters. We should gently caress their bums. <laughs> that was what I did yesterday. And then to today it was, um, they had like all Canadian letters or words today. I don't know what it was. It was just like, they had like dart and maple and syrup and stuff like that, like all themed off of Canada. And yeah. uh, my tweet today was, um, cause they had curds cause they make poutine with curds. I was uh, Granny Smith apples go great with three cheeses, brie, sharp white cheddar, and curds. Trust me, because it's true. It's Those true. three things go that's with green, Granny Smith apples really well. And so I was just like, that's what I'm going to do it on because one, it helps me remind me to like tweet every day. Mm -hmm. um, and it makes me post at the same time every day. And it works really well. Plus, it's kind of like an engagement thing. And that's what I've decided yeah. to do is just do that. And then once they feel good about that, then I'm going to start doing the shorts and the TikToks because I can edit clips now. I've taught myself. I'm so proud. I'm so proud Ugh. of you too. Oh and so God. the only thing I need to learn to do is the subtitles things. If I can perfect that, I'm going to be golden. Um, But then I'm going to start doing those because I can post those in tandem because they're two yeah. separate different things. But it's hard. YouTube it's so shorts hard. Is so good. Yeah, dude, oh, the shorts oh, are really great. Oh, and I've been posting oh on oh. YouTube every week because of the podcast. So I'm, I'm, you know, it's another thing. It's just one more thing, you know? You're doing a really great job. I'm trying. And and here's the thing. I think I, I think a lot of people have a misconception with the full time thing, because I think that a lot of people think that, oh, you're full time. You don't work. Uh, you're you should be doing more. Nah. So and that's like the, the it's hard. <laughs> it's fucking hard. You're more harsh on yourself and you never feel like you can relax because you think you're not getting anything done. Yeah. And it's it's also because. I feel like that's where I was in the summer because I felt like there was all this anticipation and expectation from my viewers and also from other content creators on Twitch when they were like, oh, you're going full time. I really wish I could do that. And I was like, fuck, if I don't do my utmost, right. <laughs> you know, which is shitty to look at that way. But that's how I was like viewing it, I think. Um, it, it was, so it was, a, stress to you. yeah, it, it added a lot of stress onto myself until I was just like, you know what? It doesn't matter what everyone else thinks I'm doing it the best it. that I can do. And mm -hmm. right now with my new schedule, even though it's fucking weird waking up at five, um, I get to see joy more, which is amazing. She's working her dream job, which is awesome. Oh, now. that's so good. Yeah. And I get to actually spend more time with the community, which is really cool because before I was like, joy's home but also everyone's in the discord i can't really join but now i can be in the discord more because joy's gets home earlier and it's just yeah it's just working out a lot better now with this morning schedule plus That's i get good. to watch you guys more which is nice because normally we'd all stream at the same time and i'd be like Fuck, yeah i have to lurk I know on my schedule is about to change too yeah so like I do midday streams and I'm going to do 12 to five, like Tuesday through Friday. So like, instead of having like, Oh, I stream Monday, but not Wednesday. And then I stream or no, I don't stream one days and Wednesdays, but I stream every other day. And it just seems like it was a little frazzled. And I also want yeah. to take more time for myself because yeah. man, I just need more time in the woods to like prepare. Poop. To poop. <laughs> I'm a shy pooper. I'm shy. You got to poop in the woods. <laughs> I kind of get comfy. You got to get comfy before you can make the final uh, package, deliver the final yeah. package. How was it 
changing your schedule like that like um i definitely <laughs> have a lot of gratitude towards joy because i think having her here and us getting up together was a big help um because we both would get up and so if one of us was having a hard time getting up the other person could help the other person get up by like checking them and stuff um yeah. but it is it was a big change because like as you know i was streaming late at night for a long yeah. time for over a year so making that switch was weird but um it's not it, it wasn't as terrible as i thought plus I was always like a night owl, but now waking up at five, once you get used to that, like I have Bro, more I'm motivation. Tired. I'm I, tired at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, come 9 p.m. I'm like, it's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> it's it's time. And everyone's like finally getting on and playing video games. I'm like, I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> it's weird. But like, honestly, like when I get off stream now, I have so much energy because it's only midday and I'm finally fully awake. It's at that prime, you know? And yeah. so like, yeah, it just I feel like it works really good for me. But I'll, I'll obviously like other people it might not be the same you know um mm -hmm. but it was it was very odd making that switch it was making that odd it was very odd the, the first two weeks were rough, were rough. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah you just gotta do what works for you you know just do it just do it i you sounded really uh. similar i got a little ptsd <laughs> it's a place ah. all the time on your streams. Oh, God. <laughs> all the time. It's so good. I love it. Shia him. LaBeouf is amazing. It's just so amazing. There's like, a lot of people that are just like, yeah, you've got it. You've got it. You got, got it, and I want it. Stuff going on, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, don't we all? <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> don't we all? Yeah. So like, Ugh. people start talking about celebrities in their lives, and I'm like, we don't even know them. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that, and that's and that's the thing, you know, like. We've been molded by PewDiePie and Markiplier mm -hmm. and all those things. Do we actually we know, know them? them? No. Uh, do I actually mm -hmm. know you? I know you better than them, of course. But, like, we've never met. We will soon. But mm -hmm. we've never mm -hmm. met in real life. And that's the way it is for a lot of people. It's just, it's such a weird... Dude, the internet, because of the internet, life has changed so much. Do you imagine yeah. if everything just died? Like, all the internet, all power is gone. It would be um, mayhem. I would go to the woods. <laughs> I would poop in the woods. That's what I would do. I would, <laughs> I would stop scared. everything I'm doing. I, shit. <laughs> I would try to text you. I was struck by a train and I go, <laughs> go poop in the woods. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's a it's a weird it's a weird it's a weird thing. Life. It's good. It's a good weird. It's good soup. It's good soup. Good good soup. <laughs> So, are you, so you're excited for for going full time? I am very excited. Yeah, Good. I think I'm. I have a lot more things that I want to do. Like on YouTube, I have this series, Chaotic Baking. I want to do more with that. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a potential to like stream and travel, like travel mm -hmm. and and some IRL experience. stuff. Experience. Yeah. Well, like being in different places, like the same streaming concept that I have right now, but like being able to produce different content in those different places. So say I could take the chaotic baking and I could be in, I don't know, somewhere else. <laughs> mm. Be like, let's make a video here. Instead of so like go visit someone and like do it in their kitchen and be like, now we're doing this and stuff like yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. That'd or, be sick. Yeah. Or um, like in a different country even. Cause I grew up so small. I just yeah. want to experience life. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> I, you know, actually, I don't feel that. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. You don't. You don't feel that. I'm gonna redact what I said because you feel that, but you don't feel that. <laughs> I, I can. Uh, I should say what I meant to say was I understand that, but me personally, I've said this before. Is I feel like I've lived four lifetimes by the time I was like 21. That's really cool. But in the in the sense that like I've just done a lot of stuff, so now I'm just like I I want to do just what I like. Like I've I've experienced a lot. I've done a lot. There's still things that I definitely want to do, but like I I feel like streaming is my retirement in the sense of like <laughs> does that make it's yeah. hard to explain. 
but like I know what I like. I know how the people I want to be around. I I'm still finding myself, obviously, because I'm still fucking young. But like mm-hmm. I feel like experience wise, like there's I'm not like dying to to go do something. I'm not dying to the but I can understand why people feel that way. Cause like I grew up very like Christian and like in a poor household and like the things that I need I wanted to do, I would have to pay for myself. Like and and like so I if I if I wanted to do something, I had to find a job. And so like yeah. I I've had so many different types of jobs. I've worked so many different types of things. I've had the juice bar. I've had, you know, like I've I've moved different places to try different things. And I did the theater for a long time. And so now it's just like I just want to play video games and hang out with people. That's like that's what I want to do. And so that's yeah. why I'm I'm happy where I'm at. But I also can understand that like you would want to keep doing what you're doing, but go experience other things because you didn't get to do all the things that I've done so far. That makes yeah. sense. Like so I, I understand. Yeah. I didn't mean to say like I get that because I don't. In the sense, yeah, yeah, <laughs> roundabout I mean, I, way of saying yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which I think you should, if you want to do that. Like, I think it, it goes for anyone. If you want to do something, there's no harm in trying because mm-hmm. you never know. You never know. That's right. Because when and I it could when work I out started, beautifully or it couldn't, and then you can work around that. A hundred percent. I I fucking put all my eggs into a bucket and spent all of my savings on opening a juice bar with no fucking experience and you it opened failed a juice bar it, it failed you you know this story i forgot it yeah i had a juice bar out of high school i opened a business i now remember yeah and i i it failed miserably because i didn't know what the fuck i was doing was it a bad idea yes did i regret it no because i learned a lot from it you know mm-hmm. and and I, when I started streaming, I was like, oh, this is, this is fun. Who knows if I'll, I'll get followers or, you know, like this stuff, but I'm already stream, I'm already like trophy hunting and playing video games. I might as well, you know, stream it. It's fun. Yeah. I like to, I like to be entertaining. This will be good. And I did it. And I even, Joy, Joy can attest to this. When I talked to her about it, cause she was like, so do you have any plans with this or is this going to be a hobby? I was like, who knows? I expect if anything to happen to be like a year or two down the road. Literally I love that you six. Guys have conversations like that. Well, yeah, because you know, and she she was fine with me quitting my job because she knew that she could do her own shit and it wouldn't affect us. Like we guys, communication is key. Just like you with your mods. Communication, communication is key. Is key. Shout out to Joy. She's amazing. Um, woo, <laughs> woo. <laughs> clap again. <laughs> um, but. <laughs> Like, that's the thing. Like, when I started, I was like, oh, it'll be like a year or two down the road. And like six months later, I quit my job. Does yeah. it, is that going to be the case for everybody? No. No. Am I living a, a high life of wealth? <laughs> no, not at all. But you don't need to, though. But that's the thing. I'm happy. For you to the, like feel joy. You exactly. Don't need to. No pun intended. To feel joy, <laughs> you. Well, that way. Wait, wait. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. <laughs> to, to, to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, tell tell me how to feel joy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, to be happy, you just gotta do what makes you happy, and like, yeah. If you don't know what makes you happy things. yet, try something. There was like something. Um, I was I don't know if I was watching something or reading something, but it was describing how a band always wanted to be like Metallica, but like they got millions of like clicks and they had a big following, but they never achieved the Metallica ranking right and they were always on the happy but even though they had like all of this and they gained their own achievements because they were like trying to do that they just they weren't feeling happy so as long as you're happy good yeah Yeah, try things see what you like to do Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah that's crazy hobbies do i have any hobbies crazy yeah um trophy hunting is my hobby Sure. Right? What other hobbies? Because I find that I don't have any hobbies outside of Twitch. That's and, uh, I was gonna say that's literally it for me. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, if I have nothing to do, I'll sit on the floor and look at like everything around me and be like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I I can envision that in my brain? <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. Oh wow. <laughs> I guess I can have my phone. <laughs> well, okay. Um I what I what I try to do because also I I want to make sure that I'm getting out of the house. <laughs> 
um is yeah. i'll go hammocking with like joy or like just the dog um because there's a like some woods out near where we live so i'll just like walk with the dog out there and i'll just oh, lay in the trees so lovely it's so good, so good. when you when you come visit i have a gift for you by the way <gasps> is it the box of juice boxes yes but also something else <laughs> oh um uh. but you'll you'll find out when you get here um oh, god um but anyway i'll go out and i'll just hammock and stuff and it's like really relaxing and um that's that's it really because when i'm in here and i'm working and stuff if there's anything that i do to just unwind it's what i do on stream which is trophy yeah. hunting and playing video games but that's yeah. okay i don't think there's anything wrong with that is that's what makes you happy wouldn't wouldn't your hobby also you would want to be your job yeah i struggle with like I enjoy streaming so much that the fact that I'm making money off it seems like ridiculous. Right? I'm do you like, have Okay, here's another question. Stop it. Because I feel like you're the same way as me is do you feel weird being like having like a even like a sub thing on your your stream? Yep. Yeah, I I've been a, I've been a, I've been it took me a year to finally put a daily sub goal on my stream because dude, it made me it uncomfortable. Me, dude, it took me <laughs> until right now to put a sub goal to be like, I guess I've got to make my rent. Yeah, that, again, I've been, <laughs> yeah, I've been full time for a year and it's taken me this long to have a daily sub goal because like, I just didn't feel comfortable because mm -mm. I'm having fun. I've been enjoying myself. Why I feel weird. Cause like if they want to sub cool, if not, but right. also like it's our job. So there is that like you still have to. So I've been trying. That's my goal right now is I'm not really focused on stats or followers or anything. I'm just focused on making sure I'm true to myself and also being better about being like, hey, guys, like if you want to support the, the podcast, this is Patreon. If you want to you know support the stream, you can do bits or subs or, you know, just lurking or hosting. It really means a lot like those types of things because you need to make a living still, you know, yep. Um, so it's hard. It's hard because it's that same. It's 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 if you feel like you're breaking someone else's boundaries by saying those things, you know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, it's a learning curve. It's all a learning curve. <laughs> um, it's, it's great. <laughs> it's great. We're doing great. Uh, um, well, Becca, where well, there's a part of the 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 podcast that I always uh, at the end where I I ask the the guests to plug themselves non sexually, um and tell us what you got going on right now if there's anything exciting coming up but I think we just talked about what's exciting what's coming up, um Ooh, but where funny. to find you I'll have all your stuff in the the about as well but give us a little a little outro for yourself let's let's put that into practice <laughs> promote yourself let's go. <laughs> Hello. Uh, 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 my name is Becca, and I am Apothic DK. I am everywhere as Apothic DK. That is all. <laughs> she streams. She's entertaining. I, she's yeah, got blue doing, hair. She's got funny. Hair. She's so got all kinds of shit. Blue hair one day, but right now I got yeah, blue right hair. now she's got blue hair. <laughs> if you're listening in the future and she has like some other color, I'm so sorry. I've 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 lied to you. Um, <laughs> Imagine going back and editing it every time we change the hair color. It's just, it's just a dub of me going yellow, green, <laughs> brunette. But it's very obvious. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> I just overlap them, just not completely right, and I leave the other sound in just so it's really apparent. That'd be really funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you so much for coming on. I really do appreciate you um so much as a friend, as another content creator, as uh as a human. And uh thanks for thanks for coming on. Hopefully, hopefully you can poop in the woods soon. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me come on. I like seriously love it so so much and I feel Always. like extremely honored honored uh, to be here because um I really like you as a human. Thanks. Thank you for being my friend. No, oh, thank you. All right. I'm I'm gonna end the podcast here before I start crying. Let's go, everybody! Thank you so much for listening. Um, <laughs> if you want to find Becca and and check out her shut, which I highly recommend, down in the the description on the YouTube's and the the podcast episode, it's right there. Also, if you consider supporting the Patreon, it helps the podcast out a lot. It's a little monthly fee that I have to pay for everything uh, every month, so you get some bonus bonus episodes, you get some early episodes, all that shit right on there. If if you wouldn't mind. 
Um, and everyone, I'll see you next week. Thank you all for listening. Becca, thank you so much. All right, everybody. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>